myself and I'm just like, ah, why am I so pretty you though? Down. <laughs> you don't even got nobody being honest with you. Read till I evaporated. My whole body see through transportation handmade. Hi guys, welcome to this week's video and this is a get ready with me and I tell you guys about my French lover, my soulmate, the one that got away, honey. Um, so I am going to touch about my living experience in Dubai here and there, but you'll, you'll notice by that time of the video, I was like going on and on because I felt like I had been talking for long, honey. And I was feeling bad for you guys because listen, I don't mind hearing the sound of my voice, but I'm just like, do other people like hearing the sound of my voice? No. Um, it is a get ready with me. It is not a makeup tutorial. So please don't worry if I don't show all of the products, I will have them down in the description box. And I will have a video up detailing like a full face. So don't worry about that. That's coming. That's coming, honey. So don't worry. Um, I'll have everything for you guys. But just also understand like this is a new channel. Like I'm doing things as I go, as I see fit. Whatever I am led to do, I do it at the time. But just trust the process. Trust me. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Uh, please tell a friend to tell a friend to like, comment, and subscribe. If they haven't seen my channel, send them a link. Watch me on your TVs. Watch me after what is it generations oh the river watch me after the river off watch me after the queen watch me okay watch me i'm yeah i am on youtube and bali mkh is on youtube i'm excited to be here as you guys can see i've got a lot more energy but if this is a video that you like to see carry on watching just priming my face child because if i don't this video and if i like waste any time this video is gonna be like five days long and we cannot have that we cannot have that so a lot of y'all wanted to hear about b um i'm gonna be using this foundation over here just to post the story this is a new foundation so i'm gonna be trying it for the very first time and i just want to see how it goes a friend of mine suggested it and to be quite honest like i trust her input it's full coverage so hopefully it's gonna cover all this burnt stuff that i recently got you know it's funny because my skin completely healed it was as if i didn't like nothing happened and then it just it left like just under my eyes it left like such bad stuff but it's fine i'm gonna be doing a derma derma water water so it's okay so it's all good in the hood a lot of you may or may not know that i used to live in dubai um i lived in dubai for three and a half years yes i did it was it was nice it was cute it was it was cute um and while i was there i was w working for a very big airline as an air hostess uh, it, it was nice, it was nice, it was nice, it was nice, I can't complain, really enjoyed it. But just my plan was always to stay there for three years, I ended up staying for three and a half and then come back. I wasn't sure though if I was going to come back home or I was going to move to either the United Kingdom or Paris. I have family in the United Kingdom so it was going to be kind of easiest for me to move there um but the offer still stands it's just i guess it's just up to me to sort of figure out like when if i want to go but that's besides the point that's a story for a different day so the situation is so i stayed in dubai and basically like my life in dubai was like it was very nice so I've, i had my girls and we really understood each other and they still my girls till this day so i so let me fast forward to the story because I feel like right now I'm just like going on and on and I'm not really saying much. Sorry. So what it, what it happened was um, a lot of one thing that I did notice, though, is a lot of the African presidents love to send their kids to Dubai to study. there, put them up in a nice house and you know i'm not gonna mention any names i'm not trying to be assassinated or or but yeah that's all i'm gonna say so there's quite a lot of dignitaries that side 
So this one night, we were just chilling with the girls and a friend of ours. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to call him Q. So Q is like, come over, girls. We're having like a little house party. Come over. Let's chill. Let's have fun. It's a bit of a games night. So we like, cool. He's like, pack your bikinis. Like, we're going to swim. Everything is going to be nice. So we're thinking, oh, okay, that's a vibe. You know, like, that's a vibe. And usually, like... These, this so this guy the house that we're gonna go to he's like a son of the so the, the houses are usually a beautiful so fine the girls and I get ready and you know I look cute you know everything is great and I didn't really plan to, to sort of like look very cute that night because I was like oh, it's a house party we're gonna swim and we're probably gonna be ashy as nuts like maybe I'm not gonna put on makeup and then another thing was like I never step out of the house looking half cute I need to look all the way cute so I made sure that I look all like when I say all the way cute like I mean all the way cute Oh, this foundation is actually really nice, you guys. I just want to go in with a smaller brush, just in the places that I didn't find. So I'm just going to use this brush over here just to go into the corners. Like that. Go into my nose. And then I'm going to blend it with the smaller brush. So, I mean, I always look cute, but that day, it's as if I knew something was going to happen because I looked extra cute, honey. And when I say extra cute, I'm not playing with y'all. I looked extra cute. So, fine, the Uber, he gets us an Uber, and I just should have known because usually, like, we take, like, Dubai taxis. Like, it's so easy to get a taxi in Dubai. It's like a meter taxi. Um, but with that day, like, um, we got an Uber and all of that because we just wanted to make sure that, you know what, we are there in, on time, like everything is great because we were like also quite excited, like, okay, we're doing something, like we're not going to be bored. And it was like, it's not often that all of us had like the same, the same days off. No. I know the guys, I don't know the, the owner of the house yet, but I've seen like, but from the way they, um, Q described him. It's like, no, a friend of mine that I always go out with, I knew that I've probably seen him out because Dubai isn't that big, y'all. So you are bound to, especially when you live there, you are bound to bump into someone you know. And you guys will party together, like, you won't even know. But, you know, like, the partying, also, like, the club scene in Dubai and the circles, like, are very small. So it's like everyone knows each other in a way, in a weird way. So fine, we get there, and then Q and the friend come and get us. So we're like, oh, okay, hey, how are you? Da da da. Everything is great, you know. So I'm thinking this is it. This is like the two guys. It's gonna be fun, you know. Whatever. So we go upstairs. Everything's great. I was the last person to come up, and it's not because I planned it. I don't know why I was the last person to walk up the stairs, but it just happened that way, and. And there he was. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> even thinking about him, like, even thinking about him, like, makes me weak in the knees. Like, honey boo boo chat. So he's there. And so he gets up, obviously, to greet everyone. And it's like our eyes lock. And he starts walking towards me. And like, the elk electricity child like ah. so now my heart is beating so fast like i'm like oh god wow okay this is amazing and then he's like hi my name is i'm gonna call him john doe because you guys are like the fbi you're gonna find him on instagram and that's gonna be a whole mess so i don't need you guys trying to find him or whatever the case may be but immediately you could feel the electricity you could see that there is an attraction these crashes are crashing okay <laughs> i'm so giddy like even just like thinking about the story i'm so giddy so he's like okay so i go sit next to my friend so my friend takes me like, yeah, bitch, I saw that. Like, I saw that. I saw that. So I'm like, he's mine. 
And um, my other friend catches on and she's like, girl, say no more. Say no more. And that's the nice thing about having friends that are like wingmen. And I swear to God, like my friends that are going to watch this video, they're going to be like, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> because I literally was, I, I'm so impressed with that story. I probably tell a lot of people. I probably have told a lot of people just because like I, I'd be so impressed with that story, child. I'd be like, yeah, oh my God, oh my God, you know. Also, just to say like, this is not a, a makeup tutorial. This is like a story time. Get ready with me. I am going to have a makeup tutorial, so don't worry about that. So if I don't show you all of the products, I'm going to put down all the products in the description box um, and tag them as well. So don't worry. Don't worry. I've got you guys. So I'm just setting, I'm just setting my, my foundation. Not that I need to because it's so good, but I just put so much product on my face that I just wanted to like set it. So fun, we chill upstairs. Everyone is like sort of gets a drink. Like, okay, what do you ladies want to drink? Fine. You know, the, the mood is there, but obviously like, you know, he's like chatting to all of us and he's trying to be cordial. But on my Peruvial, I can catch him staring. But what's there not to, like, I, I don't blame him. What's there not to look at? Like, yes, I am an attractive woman, sir. Take it all in, drink me up. I am a tall glass of milk. <laughs> So, um, fine. So the owner of the house is like, okay, guys, we can go down to the pool area. Let's play some games, you know, let's just get into the party spirit. So they play music and stuff. And, and the vibe is like nice. So as we walk downstairs, my friend is like, you're going to sit next to him. So I'm thinking, no, like, again. like, don't make it obvious, you know? So fine. Get there. And then my friend is like, no, Mbali, sit next to John Doe. Like, sit there's space for you. I save space for you here. I'm thinking, I'm going to kill this girl, but I love this girl. I love her mind. I love the way she's working because this guy is mine. Hi, time goes on. Da, 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 da. So now we're sitting there. We're playing games. And we we in teams. I can't remember what the, the game we were playing was, but I remember we were in teams and we got something right. And we both looked at each other. And you know, like don't crack, yo. But I blushed. I swear to God, I was I was like hot. My whole face was like on fire. And so my friend is like, she takes me. She takes me like, oh my God, you like a two year old right now. You know, like get it together. Oh, so me and the girls, we go upstairs, we go change, and also like we take it as like an opportunity to have like a little powwow. So they're like, girl we see him he wants you you want him so just chill like literally the ball is in your court and they were not lying it was in my court fine we change get into a bikini and my body was still snatched back then okay and it wasn't because of anything i was exercised like i even still had my belly ring like i was so hot i was hot child i remember wearing that bikini and looking at myself like oh Mbali? Is this your bottle walk out looking like a snack in a full meal? Like I was looking like an appetizer. I was looking like the starter. I was looking like the main course. I was looking like dessert. I was looking like the cheese board. I was looking like the crackers. I was even looking like the drink. I was everything, okay? So fine, we go downstairs. So I'm like to my friends, okay, I'm just going to take a minute to gather my thoughts because I feel like I'm losing it. Like, to paint a picture for you guys, he's very tall. He's got this beautiful, dark, chocolatey skin. His accent is like thick, you know, like, oh, oh, what a beautiful man. Anyways, so I'm like, okay, I'm coming. Also, I just wanted a grand entrance. So my girls was like, take, take some time. Don't be, don't be an eager beaver. Just like take some time to come out, okay? So I'm like, clean. When it, it, if you want an entrance, you will get an entrance, child. I take my time and then eventually I walk out. When I walk out, he's sitting by the stairs like waiting for me. 
So when I come, he's like, he reaches out his hand. He's like, ah, oh, just the person I was, I've been waiting for. I'm like, yes, honey, better recognize you waiting for me. I've been waiting for you all my life. He leaves me, we go sit at the corner of the pool and we just start talking and getting to know each other. Um, he's originally from Ivory Coast, living in Paris. He's on, he was in Dubai on holiday with his family and um, he plays soccer. Uh, you could see from the body that he played soccer. Like you could see that he was, he was a professional somebody, you know, just a professional something. He was, oh. mm, mm, mm. so carry on with our nights. We're talking, I tell him what I do and all of that. And Everyone is like, okay, love birds, it's enough. Come, let's play. So we play games. Like we're playing like like nice games. We jump into the pool. Let me tell you, I wasn't even scared of my wig. Back then we had so so ins, honey. So there wasn't no shifting of the wig or scared of the glue. We had so ins and you would leave out your natural hair on top. So the maybe your natural hair will become an afro. But that's okay. We kept that hair relaxed, you know? So it was deep fried. So we knew that even if it gets wet, it will be flat because that there's chemicals in that situation. I'm literally just fast forwarding so many things because if I sit here and tell you guys the whole love story, you guys will like literally go insane. So everyone goes upstairs to like, so basically downstairs is like the welcome area. So I guess it's got like the guest lounge and all that, like no one sits there. Then as you go upstairs, that that's like, a, there's like a, a common area where there's like, there's like a TV, sort of like a, a TV type of situation, TV room, and then there's the bedroom. So everyone went upstairs to like go play PS or whatever the case may be. So he was like, can we stay downstairs so we can talk? And of course I said yes, what was I gonna say? No, I'm not stupid. And then we sit there and we, we're just talking, you know, when like two people are very interested in getting to know each other. As we're talking, holes, like, you know, someone's gonna put their, they are here at the and then pull you in and the best kiss of my life. Oh my <laughs> I'm even getting butterflies thinking about it because child it was perfect. It was perfect. It was so perfect. Like I was I was floating. I was like Excuse me, how dare you? How freaking dare you? You know, like, how dare you? And I can see why now they call it the French kiss because honey, the French know how to kiss. Oh my God, oh I'm even swearing, like you could swear like this happened, you could swear this happened last week, the way I'm so giddy because, <sighs> I'm even lost for words. So that happens and I'm there like, okay, marry me now. Like we don't have to be apart another second, like marry me now. Then the sad part, like we have to leave and i mean obviously like i'm disappointed but it was fun but it was time to leave because i remember that whole day i had my day off so it was like into the ams like the morning so we arrived there the night before and then obviously into the ams then we had to leave because i needed to sleep because the following day i was flying to new york so i needed to have enough rest exchange numbers we like we were chatting all the time like snapchat and instagram and then via whatsapp but the thing is back then there wasn't like insta stories you know that's like a new thing so we were on snapchat like we were on snapchat honey and let me tell you i was talking i was like he was so oh my god like, so half of his snaps were in french but i didn't care i just wanted to watch him especially when he was with his friends and you would see them like at marcella balmain like the high end like they made high end shopping like look so normal like going into a zara and h m and that's just like the lifestyle that he was li living like he will shoot himself at soccer practice and all of that and it was like hella cute man it was hella hella cute i was like baby 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 Mary. i i was i i was i i was imagining myself a wag i was like okay this is, this is my man, like, we're getting married. And he was hella consistent with the communication. So, so I can't even, 
I can't even fault him. Like, he knew what he was doing, honey. He knew exactly what he was doing. So, we were talking for a couple, I think we spoke for about a month. And then I got a flight to Paris. And I remember checking my roster and seeing Paris and thinking to myself, oh my God, the stars are aligning. Oh, I have to read this. Sorry, guys, I just have to really respond to this taste. So I'm like so excited. Like it doesn't happen. Like Paris is such a popular destination and to have it again twice without having to like bid for it. So basically you could request flights that you want. Then seeing like depending on your luck, you'll get it or not. But there was like an alg algorithm that the company worked out. But I had already been to Paris. So I would thought to myself like I'm probably going to get Paris again like after a long time. But I got Paris and I was so excited and I had done all of the touristy stuff. So I didn't feel torn. I didn't feel like, oh my God, now how am I going to, this person is from Paris. Like, how am I now going to drag him to the Notre Dame, to the Eiffel Tower? Like, how can I, but it's fine. It all worked out because when the stars are aligning and trust me, honey, the stars are always aligning for moi. <laughs> I remember telling him we were so excited. We was like, oh my God, I can't believe you're going to be in Paris. You know, it was, it was cute. It was so cute. fast forward, I arrive in Paris. We get to the hotel and I freshen up. So as crew, we were allowed to either go home. So if you're from that place, if you live there, you can go home. But you obviously have to tell the captain and the purser where you are. And you have to give them like a like local phone numbers so they, they can be able to reach you and then you can decide whether to meet them at the hotel or the airport the next the following day if you if we're staying for 24 hours if we're staying for 48 or 72 whatever the case may be you guys get the gist and i always love to meet them at the hotel because if you get stuck in traffic driving to the airport like the, the, they cannot protect you the company will just mark you as late and that's like a final warning especially if you're in your hometown because you're still on a work trip so they just take it as if like you're taking chances because you're at home so but um so i always just used to love being with the crew so if we lay if there's traffic or whatever we lay together and i signed in for work and i don't get into trouble but i didn't need to tell anybody because i wasn't going to go anywhere i was still going to sleep at the hotel but yeah i don't know i told you guys that but anyways went upstairs freshened up got cute and then i remember them calling the reception madam blah, 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 is at that is at reception john doe is at reception we were going downstairs and he was like oh my god you still look as beautiful as i remember and i was there like <laughs> i am killing myself right now because what a perfect man we went to we went to eat we did like we ate more than anything like we we ate went to a bar for like sundowners and stuff because i arrived there in the afternoon so it was like perfect for us to grab dinner and then go for sundowners and it was perfect because you know like how paris is like the city of love but it wasn't like cliche like and it wasn't corny but it was still like super cute and to be fair this was like our first day so it was still like a bit of awkwardness but i'm not like I'm like an awkward person for like the first 30 minutes and then after that like once I've gotten over my awkwardness like it's easy for me to like you know flow and it was good even though sometimes language was a bit of a barrier but let me tell you honey there's nothing technology cannot fix so everything is great everything is pashash everything is perfect now it's time to get back to the hotel because it's super late and a part of me felt like okay I should invite him up but then I also I didn't because to be fair, the first time I met this person, I was with my friends. So even if I said, e -e -e, my friends are going to be like, who finna die? Who finna die right now? You know, they were going to go Brah! on a nigga. But this time I'm in a foreign country with someone I don't even know that well. Like, to be fair, I've only ever spent one time with you and this is the second time. 
and we've spoken on the phone so i didn't really feel like i trusted him and to be quite fair like there's a lot of stories like they used to warn us about like don't be too quick to do a b c and d because you can't trust people next next thing a person like plants drugs in your bag and you don't see it and now you take the fall for something you didn't even know about so it was very important to be vigilant and i think being a paranoid person person and being in that situation as crew it's like I needed to do seven background checks before I trust you around my things, especially if I'm working. Like work is work. Yes, I can go sightsee. Yes, I can have fun. But I had strict regulations. Like this is my time to work and you cannot mess with that, honey. If I'm here on holiday, go off. But not if I'm working. Anyways, ended up leaving. It was cute though. We spoke on the phone. The next day, woke up, got myself ready. And a boss babe was gone. Off to work, back to Dubai. Then a couple of fast forward, like a couple of months, like, you know, just talking about, okay, when are you going to come to Dubai? Which wasn't really a problem. But the thing is, like, it was very important that we fit it into my schedule because I'm the one who was busy. And then I remember having uh, five days off, my friend and I. So we decided to go to Cape Town. And to be quite honest, like, we just wanted to go to Cape Town to just, like, sort of party and enjoy our life. And it happened that he was flying to Cape Town with an alcohol brand, which I'm not going to mention. They were flying him to Cape Town with a couple of other people from like different countries. And it was some something going on. And, you know, it was so crazy because the world is small. Just when you think the world is big, the world is small. Don't be fooled. I remember posting him on my close friends recently. I think this was about sometime this year, posting him on my close friends. And it was at that party. It was like, like a snap he took of himself at that party. And I posted on my close friends and this guy friend of mine was like, hey, isn't that so-and-so? And I was like, oh, God, how how is it possible? How is it possible? He's like, oh, you know, so-and-so. I was just like, actually, let me delete this because uh-uh, uh-uh, I, you will not catch me slipping. No. Great. So he was like, okay, it's fine. We'll meet in Cape Town. And he was flying to Cape Town. And then from Cape Town, they were going to go to... um. Ireland. I don't know how it worked out that way because being in Paris, you are closer to Ireland and coming all the way to South Africa. It wasn't my campaign. I don't know. Okay. So fine. Everything was great. So my friend and I get to Cape Town. So we got to Cape Town a night before and um, John Doe and I were supposed to meet the next day and spend the, that next day together. And I was supposed to fly straight from Cape Town back to Dubilis. Oh, my friend and I go out, we party, everything is great. The next day we wake up, our friends in Jova call us like, girls, where are you? We're like, no, we're here in the country, but we're just in Cape Town. They're like, okay, what's your situation like? Because tonight in Jova, it's going to be popping. So me being the chicken head that I am, I don't even, I don't even like try. I don't even try to like, you know, stop them and be like, no, guys, I'm meeting da 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 da. I'm like, we are there. We are there. So now this is me changing my whole flight plan, my whole itinerary, and now saying, okay, I'm doing, I'm doing like Joburg, Dubai. And mind you, like, we would fly with like rebate tickets. So it costs us next to nothing. I'm not really sure if legally I'm allowed to say how much. But it was nothing. Like literally it was like, it was nothing. So for us flying in and out of our, of our home countries, it, it was, it was like, it was, it was so cheap. It, it's going to Cape Town was more expensive. You know, the Dubai to my home country was way cheaper. Going to Cape Town cost me more. But even then, um, the, um, what is it? The, the airlines that have like a relationship, like our airline had a relationship with the South African airline. So we flew rebates. So basically flight tickets were never an issue in my life. Fine. So we're like, okay, we're going. And then I left just like that. And he's now here in Cape Town as much as he was working as well, but he's like texting me and I'm not responding. Oh, even thinking about it just like breaks my heart. And I'm not responding. And to be fair, like, I was young, you know, so I was living my life. And to be, he wasn't my man. Like, nor did he ask me to be his girlfriend. So I felt like I'm just, I'm, I'm living my life. So, so what be the problem? And 
I remember just receiving a text from him, like saying, don't call me, don't text me anymore. Like what you did is like messed up. I thought we had, I thought we had something, but you just ditched me. Like you just left me hanging, you, you know, basically I ghosted him. So it's fine. I've, I've, I've had my karma and I've done, I've paid my dues. So I'm cool now, but just thinking about it, like hurts me because he definitely didn't deserve that, but rock on. I had to do what I had to do. And am I sorry? Yes. Does it haunt me? Then yes. Now it's just like a funny story because we definitely friends now and we talk and we laugh, but yeah, it was, it was very intense. Then he was like, he couldn't believe that he was rejected, but that's okay. So going to Joe Burger is definitely worth it. It was like one of the best nights of my life. I don't think I've, I've, I have, I've had such a nice night after that. Like it was, it was worth it. And I just told myself like, if him and I were meant to be together, we'll find a way to each other. Like I still stalk him though. So he's dating this beautiful girl. Jeez Louise, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful, you guys. I uh, like. I'm not. Even, I can't even be mad that he's not with me because she is so gorgeous. She's, she's so gorgeous and she's like super cool and she's a big deal. She's she works with like a really a really big rapper that side i can't say where because you guys will just know you'll just you'll just know and it will be easy to narrow it down and i can't have that i can't i can't i can't have that i'm trying to be her friend because she's so cool like not because of him but just because like she is cool so yeah, like, and, I've, I, and I saw that recently they were in Cuba. I saw that they were in a Cabo, Maldives. They're like couple girls, you guys. Oh, my God, he looks so happy. Oh, my God, that could have been me. Oh, wow. To be fair, I fumbled, so I've got nothing to be sad about if I'm the one who actually fumbled. But, yeah, he looks very happy. He's great. I mean, they, they do so many fun things together. Like, so many fun things. Last year, Coachella. Jeez. Ah, so, they went to Cabo last year, though. When I say recently, I forget that we are literally in 2020, mid-pandemic. So, all of these things I saw, like, it was, like, last year. So, he... He's living his best life. I'm living my best life. So, I just want to do my nose quickly. Okay. Okay, Melly, you're looking cute. Rude, my phone. Okay. So I'm just going to do my brows off camera and I'm going to remove this thing just because I want to blend in my forehead as well in case there's a line. And then I will be back. So, Huban, why does this look weird? So I've went on with a mascara. I'm just going to go in there. So yeah, Dubai, Dubai was a, a learning experience for me and I've, I've spoken about it quite a lot of times. I speak about it here and there like on my Instagram and stuff, but it was a good experience. So that's just one of the guys like who I actually fumbled. Sad, sad. And he was, when I tell you guys like he's, he's a beautiful black man. Like, oh, he's so, so yeah, I fumbled big time. Yeah. That's me, Miss Fumbler. But it's all good. It's fine. We're cool now, so it's okay. But I just thought that it would be funny to tell you guys. <laughs> but men still deserve nothing, so it's okay. It's okay. I'm just trying to put some glue on my lash. So I can put it on, and then next we can do my hair. I actually had written down everything that you guys asked me. So I'm just going to go through my phone now because I think that the questions is still up. And I can just sort of see like some of the other things that you guys wanted me to touch on. Oh, yes. Someone wanted to talk about my experience of um, finding my apartment. Oh, it was easy. I, I went on Property 24. And I knew that I wanted something with the... With an, so, so basically, let me start from the beginning. What I did was I started looking for office spaces because I thought, okay, I'm not going to move out of home because I'm so comfortable at home. I don't pay anything. So I'm just going to rent an office. 
So I went to Spaces. Spaces was so, ex it's not expensive, but it's expensive. And the, the space was so small. And I hated that, like, there's a bunch of strangers in one space. Like, it's great, but I was like, oh, this is weird. But I had told myself, okay, I'm going to do this. And then an opportunity came to me. And then I was like, okay, I actually want my own place. Like, I want to have my own little cute spot. I don't I think it's, this is the best time for me to move out. And my mom was like, wow, Mbali, this is awesome. You know, I think it's great as well. I think you can definitely do that. And then I went on Property 24. And I didn't really like anything um until i saw something and it was like so well decorated we went to view it i remember it's a saturday we went to view it i went with my mom and we got there i really loved it i was like okay i love this i want it and i was probably there for 10 minutes and i was like give me the contract let me get started so the whole process took about a week i went there on saturday by friday everything was approved um everything and the place was like mine um, the following week, I paid my deposit and they said, since you've paid your deposit, you've paid everything, you are free to move in whenever you want because the space was vacant and it is a new development. So it was perfect. And, and the space and the place is perfect for me. I love, I love, love. I love my place. By the way, I'm wearing Lash Me TG by Tandy Gama, of course, the GOAT. Is my mic still on? Oh, yeah, it's on. This thing is so small. Oh! Drama, it's honey. My stomach. I'm like starving. And I didn't have like a, a juice or whatever this morning. Damn. What am I going to have for lunch? I'm going to have soup. Oh, okay. It's a bit. Mm, it's a bit traumats but we'll make it work Let's see oh it's a bit sweaty down there um okay okay i just wanna see just wanna see if you love me no more you guys i'm trying to buy these um these sunglasses that i really want i asked my mom to buy them but she's like i'll order them but I know I really want these Gucci sunglasses. Like, if I don't get them, I might just die. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to do my hair. I don't know if I should do my hair with you guys. So, something is stuck together here. I can feel it. Ah oh. So, I'm just waiting for my flat iron to become hot. So while we do that, maybe I can put a bit of perfume. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Got this little bad boy. I haven't really even had time to like sort of really open it. I'm not in my place again. So please bear with me. Um, this was a cute uh, gift. Very unexpected. But appreciate it. So, only getting like an opportunity to like open it now because I was still kind of using my Versace perfume. But now I just wanna, I just wanna use the sort of spray that. Yeah, now I smell like a million books. So yeah, that was my apartment situation. So it was very simple, very easy for me. If you know where I live, please don't comment like, oh yeah, I know where you live, please. That doesn't, like that puts my life, like not really puts my life in, yeah, kind of puts my life in danger because you know women are going missing every day, like with human trafficking and everything. And I'm a very paranoid person, so please, guys, if you know, that's great. Let's just keep it to ourselves. Unless you've got, like, a pressing thing to ask me, then you can, like, always just send me a DM on Instagram. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, Twitter, I'll leave 
all the details so you can follow me. You know, I can't find my comb that I got with this hair. Honestly, and it's upsetting me because it just feels like I can't find anything. Guys, I'm so lazy. <laughs> Look at what I'm doing. I'm not even like sectioning the hair properly. Focus on me. Okay, guys, so I just decided to wear a hat. Um, just because like I just couldn't be asked the whole situation of the straightening and stuff and I feel like this is more like it's cuter I'm gonna put like nice shoes then get my content out of the way. Thank you for getting ready with me Um, I don't know if I did it right, but I hope I did if not there's gonna be so much more so I'm I'm not I'm not a person who has um, I don't mind making mistakes because I always learn from them and another thing is, this is a new channel, so please don't compare me to people who have been doing this for a long time. Nothing frustrates me more than being compared because I don't even compare myself, so I don't need anyone comparing me for me. I'm good, um, but I do appreciate all of the advice. I do appreciate all of the lovely comments. Uh, uh, uh. Keep them coming, honeys. Um, yeah, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. What are you doing? You've just watched me for... God knows how long this video is going to be. You've just watched me and you're just going to leave without saying anything. Come on. Uh, you guys, how are you loving the quality of this all? Yes, honey, a girl is leveling up. I told myself that I will fix my camera situation and I did. Not that my videos were bad, but you know what? You can always be better. I'm actually loving this look. Actually, look, look cute. I just want to see how I look on... Um... Oh! Guys, this foundation is amazing. Ah! <laughs> I'm so pretty. Damn. Uh, I'm actually perfect. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm, I, I was just having a moment. I was having a moment. But, oh. Oh, my God. I'm so pretty. Um, I look so good. So this Bobbi Brown, um, this Bobbi Brown Longwear Weightless Foundation is the GOAT. I look flawless. So thank you guys for watching. Please come back. I'm going to be back here soon. So I'm going to be dropping videos like every week. I'm going to try vlog as well. So <laughs> I do have currently doing a vlog. So I'll see you guys next week. If not on my next vlog, I will see you soon. And I love you guys. And 